My name is James Lewis, the producer of Masonic Secrecy. When the director, Stephanie Cristancio, and I decided to take on this project, we wanted something that was a solid story, but highlight Washington, D.C. as well. Masonic Secrecy is the story of Claire Summers, a girl who lost her father at a really young age, only to find out that he just recently passed away. He left a lot of things to her, a lot of clues into the life that he led. She goes to Washington, D.C. to find just a little bit more about him. One of the exciting things about Masonic Secrecy is the locations. We have over 20 locations in this short film project, which is an extreme amount of locations, but I think it did a good job in help telling the story of Masonic Secrecy. When Stephanie and I decided to shoot this project, we definitely wanted to shoot it in the fall. It's one of the best times of the year in Washington, D.C. to do shooting. It has great scenery, the colors of the trees, and it just was a great backdrop. The drawback of shooting in the fall is definitely less sunlight. Time changes sometime in the mid to end of October, and it was definitely a challenge shooting in the day and then coming back and shooting in the afternoon and trying to get all the shots in at the same day. Shooting on location is always difficult. Of course, shooting in Washington, D.C. is extremely difficult because of all the tourists around. So we definitely had to work extremely hard to get the shots that we wanted, but also work around the tourists, work around the people, the cars. It was just a difficult shoot, but we were able to get it done. Equipment-wise, we shot Masonic Secrecy on a Canon 60D, as well as a Canon T2i. We also shot some night scenes. There were definitely challenges in doing so. It was very, very hard to find the proper lighting, the proper situation to shoot at night. But we didn't let that deter us from getting the shots that we felt like we needed for this project. Two scenes that we were very concerned with ended up being two scenes that we were very pleased with. One ended up being the Union Station uh, scene in the very beginning and at the end of Masonic Secrecy. And the second one was the Martin Luther King Memorial where we only used the lighting from the memorial itself. We were very concerned in shooting that scene, but it came out really well. Producing this project was quite difficult, as you can imagine. In Washington, D.C., there's all kind of location restrictions, along with shooting outside predominantly, something that the story called for, but also scheduling actors and scheduling crew was always difficult. Everybody has responsibilities, and because it's a short film and we're doing it on our spare time, it really, really made it hard. But we were able to coordinate times for shooters, coordinate times for actors, and we were able to get what we needed. Also embedded in this script is the story of Washington, D.C. and the Freemasons. The Freemasons played a big role in the history of this country, so we wanted that to be a major part of this story. So we went and shot in some of the Masonic locations here in Washington, D.C. Sonic Secrecy took us about a month to write the script, about another month for casting. However, it only took us four, four and a half days to shoot the actual short film. 
It ended up being a 40 minute short film. Stephanie Cristancho, the director and I, had to make some decisions on what was gonna be cut and not cut from the project. It was a grueling process because we had so much great content to show and to highlight. The Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, the World War II Memorial, several Masonic locations, the Martin Luther King Memorial, the Jefferson Memorial, the Tidal Basin. We really tried to get out and show up several, several locations in Washington, D.C. Masonic Secrecy was Orr Media Productions' first short film project. It was a project that we had a lot of ideas for. It was a project that we wanted to tell a good story as well as highlight a lot of parts of Washington, D.C. It's tons and tons of talent here. Sure, there's talent obviously in LA, in New York, but we really enjoy shooting and building the foundation here. We learned plenty of lessons of things to do and things that we could do a little differently. But I encourage all the filmmakers out there that if you wanna shoot a feature or a short, the only way you're gonna learn is by just getting out and actually just doing it. Period, 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 just do it. Ultimately, our goal for Masonic Secrecy is just for the audience to just enjoy a really good story and also see a lot of Washington, D.C. at the same time. So after all the challenges Masonic Secrecy presented production-wise, we would definitely shoot it again. It was a good story. It highlighted a lot of great locations in Washington, D.C. It was definitely hard and trying at times, but ultimately, through this process, you learn so much. And ultimately, I believe we build a 40-minute short film story that I believe speaks to the heart of Washington, D.C. So hope everybody gets a chance to see it and enjoy it.